Do you have a WordPress site and although you really like the theme, you would like to make some minor changes but don't quite know how? Well, stay tuned. It's easier than you think. Hello, this is Mike Simmons of WPHowTos.com and in this video I will be showing you how you can easily make minor customizations to your WordPress theme and no worries you don't have to know any CSS or HTML code either. The tool we are going to use is called Firebug which you can find at this page right here that I'm it's, it's getfirebug.com. Now Firebug is a very handy extension add-on for Firefox that allows you to modify your website's look and layout in real time which means that you can make changes temporary changes so you can see what your proposed changes will look like before you actually implement them on your website there is also a light version of firebug that you can use for uh, google chrome safari internet explorer that sort of thing now of course to install firebug you just click on this button right here and it is free and open source just like wordpress is and after you install Firebug, you should have a little Firebug icon up at the top, at least in Firefox, you will. Our WordPress site's layout and look is determined by CSS code or styles. And the CSS styles are contained within our theme's style.css file. Let's go ahead and take a look at a style.css style sheet. I'll go over to my dashboard of myeasywp.com, hover over appearance, and then down at the bottom you will see something that says editor I've installed a plugin called WP editor so I'm going to click on theme editor instead alright here is the main style sheet for the WordPress 2012 theme for example I'll scroll down here here is the CSS styles for the body font font size font type and the color of the the font, the main body font. Uh, say for instance you would like to make your font a little bit bigger. You just click in here and instead of 14 you could put 18 or whatever number you would like. And then you would click on update or save or whatever it shows there. But I am not going to make any changes to our main style sheet just because theme does update and you'll lose all your proposed changes unless you use what's called a, a WordPress child theme. And if you don't have a child theme installed for your theme yet, it's very easy to do if you follow the right steps. I'll put an annotation with a link to my child theme video that you can follow and make a child theme easily. Using Firebug is a great way to learn more about CSS and website design using WordPress. Now to use Firebug, you'll just hold your cursor over whatever element on your web page that you would like to modify or change. For instance, here's our site title. I'm just going to hold the cursor over this and then right click and then down at the bottom most likely we'll say inspect element with Firebug and you go ahead and click on that. Now you notice it has a line of HTML code. The HTML code is over on the left and the CSS code is over on the right. So you notice this line is highlighted in blue and then if you hold your cursor over it it highlights the site title, the element that we're, we are inspecting. Over on the right, like I said, here is the CSS styles code that controls the different aspects of the site title. Now for instance, if we would like to see what it looks like with a bigger size font on here, you'll just click in here to edit and I'm going to make it 90 instead of 60 and immediately it shows up on the page as 90 font and let's see maybe perhaps we'd like to uh, have our tagline right in here in the header too a uh, bigger font size now I know it's right down here if I hold my cursor over it see if I click on this right here there we go now you'll notice this line is highlighted and if I hold my uh, cursor over it, it highlights the tagline. And then over here is the CSS that controls the tagline font. It's italic and 24 pixels. I'm going to click in here and then click again. And then I'm going to put 36 in there. And now we have our bigger site title and the the tagline or description also has a bigger font to go along with our bigger size font on the site title. Here's what's called the metadata for a WordPress post. This is the default WordPress theme at the time of this video called the 2013 theme, which I will be making a video very soon about. 
perhaps we'd like to get rid of this whole line of what's called metadata, the, the date and the category for the post. I'm just going to hold my cursor over on the right a little bit. So right click and then inspect element. It highlights this line right here. It says div class entry meta. If I hold my cursor over it, it highlights this whole line right here. Now over on the right, there's entry meta and it has the font size. Now if we would like to not display it, the CSS for controlling whether it displays or not is called actually display. Let's hold our cursor right over this CSS style that controls the enter meta and then right click and then click on new property. And then we'll just type in display and then colon none. And you notice how it got rid of the metadata right away. Now if you would like to make this change permanent, you'll just hold your cursor over this, over the CSS style, right click, and then copy rule declaration. Now then you paste this into your style.css sheet for your main parent style sheet or your child theme hopefully, or into the custom code section for your WordPress theme. And I'll just right click and paste. And now we have our CSS rule right here that controls the enter meta with a display of none so that it will be a permanent change. Of course you can also change the font size and that sort of thing. Perhaps we would also like to say change the color of the footer down here. Let's right click in here, inspect element with firebug, and now you notice this line is highlighted. When you hold your cursor over it, it highlights the entire area that this line controls. And over on the right site footer, it shows a background color right here. Let's change that background color just by clicking in here. You notice when I hover my mouse over it, when it's, it also shows the color that this stands for right here. So I'm going to click in there and I'm going to paste in a different color code. Now it's kind of a dark orange to go with the orange right here. Now, of course, you can also change your link font color because, of course, that, it's kind of hard to see with the orange in here. So let's inspect element with Firebug right here. Site footer widget. A stands for the link. Now you notice the color right here. We could change that into, uh, let's see, we could change that into sort of an off-white if we'd like to, like a yellow. There we go. <laughs> well, it, it de definitely stands out, and that's that would be your link colors, of course, and it might be a little harder to see with a white page background, but uh, Anyway, that gives you a pretty good idea of what you can do with Firebug. A great, great tool. I use it a lot. It's I don't know exactly what I'd do without it, to tell you the truth, and it's a great way to learn CSS. And now, by the way, if you would like to learn a little bit more about CSS and HTML and some other things, you can go to my site, WPHowTos.com, and I have some very good video courses that are free to view. Uh, I have an HTML and in a CSS basics course and a few other different uh, video courses that you can take a look at besides some different tips and uh, tutorials on uh, WordPress and that sort of thing. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment if you have any comments or questions. Like this video, please, if you have enjoyed it and found it useful. And subscribe for more video updates. And as always, keep on keeping on.